Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with next topic in this training session which is on SAP Login Profile Parameter. In this training, we will be seeing about the parameters which is used to login into the SAP system. So we'll go through the different parameters, especially those parameters they are stored in the profile of SAP. These parameters you can see it using RZ10 or RZ11 and basically you can see these are the different parameters like login slash minimum password length okay so basically this defines the minimum length of the password so default value is 3 permissible values from 3 to 8 then we have login minimum password digits minimum password letters minimum password specials minimum password difference minimum password the password expiration time password change for sso change password login and password logon parameters so here you can see that these are the different profiles and let's go into the system to see exactly how these parameter looks like let's go to rz10 and in rz10 we will see the different profile related login parameters in the sap system okay so i am executing the transaction called rz10 right now and in this you can see these are the different profiles here you can using this transaction you can see the different profiles you can go to the admin view the maintenance basic maintenance the extended maintenance and in case if there are multiple profiles you can just select on the drop down list that i just did here you can see there are three different profiles so these three profiles are for three different activity we will go to the last profile which is basically the instance profile so the instance profiles is specific for this particular instance let's go to a change parameter and here you can see i have selected just the admin administrative data so basically it will just show me the administrative data that is what is the profile file being used what is the name and what is the whether it is an instance profile or not so and the version number so basically this shows the administrative data about who changed it who has last changed this and which are the files for this activity let's go to the basic maintenance okay let's click on the display tab okay in the basic maintenance here you can see the information about the general data like system name system number instance number then information about buffer and work processes and at the bottom you can see about the different work processes the number of work processes like dialog like reserve dialog work processes update one update two mq background spool so you can see that you can customize these memory related the dialog parameters the buffers the number of work processes using this particular interface okay so now let's go to the next one where it is the extended maintenance so let's click on the extended maintenance let's click on change okay here we'll just ignore this okay so let's click on enter and here you can see the different parameters available so let's search what parameters are specific to login just type login in the find tab and you will see the different login related parameters in this screen you can see there are just three login related parameters first two are basically for the single sign-on and the last one was for uh, the SSO so in case if you want to create a parameter just create a create button click on the create button and type the name of the parameter then you can type say the parameter value okay so what it will happen is and you can just click on the copy tab so what it will do is it will give you the information about that parameters value so that is how you create a parameter using rz10 okay so let's specify them so we have we are going to create this parameter minimum password length okay this is unknown it is showing so let's find now let's specify the value of the length over here say for example i want to increase this length to or specify it to six click on the copy button and just click on the back arrow 
so you you will be back into this screen but you will see this parameter that we specify is added here okay now if i just click on the back arrow the green button and it shows that the profile was changed so do you want to save changes yes or no so in this case particular case i have just select on no but you can create on yes to create that particular value of the parameter okay so that is how basically we create parameters now let's go to rz11 where you can see the login specific other parameters okay so just type login slash star you will see all the parameters with login and you can see that this is a list of all parameters for login so these are the default or these are the parameters related with login of sap system so you can see there are so many parameters for password for single sign on you can see accept single sign on cookies certificate mapping certificate requests okay sso ticket then it's about the different other parameters so let's select one of them and just click on display it will show you the default value that is the minimum value the maximum value and the description of it the application area the parameter type which is an integer value so you can see how this parameter values for login parameters looks like and for changing as we have seen in the last slide we can go to the rz10 to change the values to create a new parameter to modify it okay so that's all pretty much i wanted to cover in this training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye